Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Illustrator scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to export images in different file types with a script. We're going to be automating the creation of a GIF, JPEG, PNG in two different formats, an SVG, a TIFF file. We're also going to go over the types such as saving as an Illustrator file, as well as saving as a PDF which are a little bit more detailed. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this as well as follow us there on GitHub and Instagram to get live updates on when videos go up. If you're not already a part of the Discord server, come on and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more and join the community. And if you'd like to help support the channel and get cool perks, you can become one of various member levels, a standard member, supporter, premium supporter, or a VIP and get those included perks as well. And we're going to start by having a project open in Illustrator. This is going to be what our project is that we're going to export and save. So we'll create a new script and I'm going to first reference my active document by saying var document is equal to app.active document and this will give me whatever is open up inside of Illustrator. Now all we have to do to export our document is say document.export file and the export file will take two arguments. The first argument is the file path that we're going to save it to with the name and the path included and the second is a special export file type that is built into Illustrator scripting. What you're going to want to do is to go under the scripting constants and we're going to find the export type scripting constant. These contain the different types of exports we can do, for example a GIF, JPEG, uh, PNG, SVG, and TIFF as we'll be doing today. So if we wanted to export this as say a JPEG, we'll say export type.jpg and that will tell it specifically what format it's going to need to do the processing. Then for the file type or the file location, I'm just going to reference, let's say, my desktop this time. And let's create a test folder. And then I'm going to call this my uh, image.jpg and you can go ahead and specify the specific JPEG or extension that you want for your export. So I have my test folder here and now I'm going to run the script and if we look inside the folder we now have our image in a JPEG format. So now we can simply go through and modify this line of code here and apply it to any kind of file type we want. So we could change JPEG to GIF we could also do a PNG 24 type, and there are different kinds uh, in this case. You can do an 8 or 24. You can also save an, as an SVG and a TIFF. So we'll do these particular file formats. And we're also going to need to update the extension here because this is obviously not all going to be a JPEG. So we'll change the file name. And you can, of course, go in and change the name and the location depending on what your needs are. So now if I go ahead and clear this folder and run the script, it's going to immediately, as you can see, it might depend on how large your uh, document is, but create the JPEG, GIF, and all the other image formats we selected. You might also get an error. I think it might need a negative or zero return or something, but it is indeed exporting each one of them. Now these are all of the export as options. And when you click on export as, you have all of these different kind of uh, basic image formats. But what about the options for when you click on save as, where you have the options of doing an AI file or a PDF or things like that? Well, these actually have their own objects that we need to take a look at inside of the scripting guide. Now, first, we're going to take a look at the Illustrator save options that we can set up. So if we find Illustrator save options, this is how we can create um, a, a new Illustrator file. If we scroll down to the bottom, it's going to give us a better idea of what we need to do. Essentially, the only things we need uh, to save the document as an Illustrator file, we need a special Illustrator Save Options object, and we also need a new file. So I'm just going to copy and paste the three relevant lines of code I need, which would be our Save Options as well as our document itself. And I'm just going to change the name. So this is our uh, Illustrator doc and our save options is our new Illustrator save options. We're going to pass these and if you want you can go in and adjust more specifically the Illustrator save options. This allows you to make it PDF compatible, flatten the output, make it compressed, choose a specific artboard range, or basically do specific uh, functions or changes to your Adobe Illustrator file itself before export. 
And then we just need to give this a proper destination. Let's go again to our desktop and the test folder. And we don't need to specify the uh, output uh, name in this case. And let's go ahead and run this. So it's going to go through and similarly export all of the files. But we're also now going to get an Adobe Illustrator file that is proper and has that file within it. Now we can also take a look at doing this with a PDF file. There are other types as well, like EPSs and uh, things like that. But the most common are obviously Illustrator and PDF. So if we look at the PDF save options and scroll to the bottom, you can see there's a lot more options for dealing with PDFs. But the uh, basic thing is the same. We want to take our document and save it as, uh, we need a save name and a PDF save options. So we'll go ahead and just uh, copy these down here. And we'll grab our document and we're going to save it as our save options, actually our save name first, basically where is it going to be located and what options are we going to use. We're going to use these PDF save options. Now with our PDF save options, you can see just based on the example, you can set specific compatibilities with different versions of Acrobat. You can generate thumbnails, preserve whether it's editable. So let's go ahead and add that in so that if we need to update our PDF and edit it, we can do that. And now you can go in and change any of the other save options as well. If you have certain settings you need, you can just go through here and find what specific PDF settings you need to change, and then those will update as well. So now if we run this, we're gonna similarly get that same error message, which again, might just be a return issue. If you're aware of this, let me know. And uh, if we look inside of our test folder, we now, and we actually forgot to give this a valid destination. So let's just paste our other one here, and we'll run the script again. And now this time you can see, it's gonna spit out a PDF image with our image that we have selected. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to export images with an Adobe Illustrator script. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe down below, and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, again, you can get the code for this, as well as follow us there on GitHub, and follow us on Instagram as well down there to be notified of when videos go live. Again, don't forget to join the Discord server, get help with plugins, extensions, scripting, and much more. And of course, become a channel member if you want to help support and get cool perks. You can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.